All right, we're benchmarking the heavyweights today. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. Uh, today is, well, when the time that this video goes live, it will be... Oh, August 31st. Okay, so that's actually perfect. I thought Monday was, uh... I thought Monday was September 1st for some reason. Okay, well, that's actually better. Um, this video is going to go live August 31st. Uh, day before the RTX 3000, um, whatever you want to call it, uh, expose. Not expose. What the hell is it? Keynote? Not... Man, uh, my brain is just lost for words right now. Anyway, you know what I mean. But, um... So we're going to be benchmarking the uh, RTX 2080 Super and the 2080 Ti today. And this is probably all I'm going to be able to get done before the 3000 launch anyway. But these two are probably going to be the most important uh, for you guys as my viewers. If you watched my uh, last video, it actually did really well for me. Um, the performance analysis of the, you know, the 3000 series. Um, the CUDA core count is the exact, the 2080 Ti has the exact same CUDA core count as the, um, 3080, and the 2080 has the exact same CUDA core count as the, uh, 3070. But we're gonna be doing a 2080 Super today, which is more in line with what we can expect with the IPC increase and stuff. So, if you are looking to, so, also... Step back a second. These are power unlimited benchmarks with the cards cranked to the max that they can go. And the reason why that's important is because that's a better indication of what you can expect next generation. So if you are interested in purchasing a RTX 3080 or a 3070. Actually, actually I don't think the 3070 is releasing at the same time. But like just in case though. Um, if you're interested in that one, then you're going to want to look at the... So 3070, you want to look at the Power Unlimited um, 2080 Super numbers. If you're interested in the 3080, you want to look at the Power Unlimited uh, 2080 Ti numbers. And that's going to give you really close to what you're going to get next generation. The, the next generation cards are actually advertised at like 350 watts. So... I mean, if they if they come stock out of the box with like um, a power limit slider for like 20% or whatever, and you can push those things to like 400, then um, it's a safe assumption that the numbers that I'm going to show you today are going to be pretty much what you're going to expect out of the box on the cards coming Monday or whatever. I mean, we're only testing the same uh, nine benchmarks that or eight, nine, not sure. The same ones that we've been testing the whole time, same methodology anyway. But it should give you a rough approximation, like like within five to seven percent of what you're gonna get out of the box next next um, generation. But so without further ado, Power Unlimited 2080 Super and 2080 Ti. This is this is my personal one that I use, so I'm using that one, the 2200 megahertz beast. Um, Let's see what numbers we can pull out of here. Onto the benchmarks.
Well, there you go. Um, pretty random, depending on what game you play. The bottom one was 15% um, performance gain in Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, that game's kind of weird, though. Because that one, like, when you're running the built-in benchmark in that game, uh, cranked settings, for some reason, it'll peg the CPU at, like, 70%. And then it'll peg the GPU at like 80%. So it's it's not it's not utilizing the all the resources that it has available to it. But it ha like I would I would ganter that one has a poor optimization uh, or a poor port from the PlayStation, right? That's what that's what's going on there. I'm pretty sure. But at the high end, you have Red Dead Redemption at a 36% performance boost and 35% with like the synthetic benchmarks. But over the average of all of them, the performance gain over a 2080 Super to a 2080 Ti is 25%. But 25% on average, uh, depending on the game engine, like like uh, Strange Brigade and uh, Red Dead, like 30 plus percent. That's why I was saying the 3070 and below are kind of are gonna kind of be disappointing chips a little bit. The, the performance gap between a 2080 Super and a, third, a 2080 Ti is so large that that performance gap is going to be the same between a 3080 and a 3070. Uh, at, at launch, anyway. We don't know if there will be a 3070 Ti or something like that. But the the base 3070... Like, I, I, I don't know. I, I would rather get a 2080 Ti, to be honest, than that thing, probably. If the prices were kind of the same. For you 1080 Ti owners. Uh, I would say the 3080 is going to be the same jump for you. Actually, it'll if, you, if you're coming from a 1080 Ti and you're jumping to a 3080. It's going to feel like a much larger jump than it actually is. Because uh, you never got to experience a power mod of 2080 Ti. So you're, you're pretty much going from a 1080 Ti to a power modded 2080 Ti plus RT, right? So it's going to feel like like 90-80% jump in performance right off the bat for you. So it's going to feel good. That would be a good upgrade. But the main upgrade that you're going to want is probably that, thir that 3090 is going to be the real... Um, like that's going to be an upgrade for you. Like I was saying in the other video though... Um, Pascal, like, a uh, Turing over Pascal, like, Turing was a massive architectural jump, more than people kind of publicize. Like, it was massive. Like, they, they got, like, 30%, 40% performance across the board at the same tier, um, for less power on the same node. Like, it was insane. Like, it was a, it was a good architectural jump. And... There's not going to be much to change when it comes to Ampere. That that architecture was, like, peaked out, man. So, um, like, yeah, all they're doing for the RTX 3000 series is removing that power limit. So it's going to feel like a new node. It's gonna, or like, it is a new node. It's going to feel like a new architecture, but it's the, it's the, it's the exact same thing. It's going to perform the same rasterize. But, so, if you're going to be watching tomorrow's... Um, presentation just like I will I'm gonna be mashing that refresh button trying to get myself a card um but if you're yeah if you're gonna be watching it tomorrow and you're thinking about picking up a, tw or a 3080 for yourself look at my 2080 ti benchmark numbers I don't have any uh, rt benchmark numbers um actually I'll when I get the next generation cards, I will do, I will do generational RT um, benchmarks. We'll do that later. That's a good idea, actually. But in terms of rasterized performance, if you're looking at that and the 3080, check out my numbers here. And those are the numbers that you're going to expect because that is a 2200 megahertz, 730 gigabyte a second, 2080 Ti with the same CUDA number as the 3080. So that's going to be the numbers that you're looking at. And if, the, if they release the 3070, look at my 2080 Super numbers. That's what you're going to get there, too. Um, yeah. I will be picking up a big Navi when it comes out. I don't know if, if it'll be good or not. I probably will. I mean, probably will. But um, if it's, like, 
10% better than my 2080 Ti, then whatever. But I'll throw my AMD rendering rig anyway. But, um... Uh, I really just want... I'm not gonna wait for it, though, because, I mean... The smart thing to do would be to wait until all the cards are played on the table before you make your move. That's always going to be the smart decision. But if you're an idiot like me and you don't wait and you pre-order stuff, I need that HDMI 2.1, man. Like, I, even if I had to straight trade my 2080 Ti for a 3080 and they performed the same, the 3080 has HDMI 2.1 so I can run my TV with it. So, I, like, I, I need, I want that. That's... That's like the main feature that I want is just the HDMI port. Um, Performance-wise, I'm fine. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, it'll be interesting to see if uh, the 3950X performs better with it because of PCI Express 4.0. I doubt it. I would think the higher clock speeds would work better, but I'll test it when I get it. Anyway, guys. That's it for this one. If you like the content, please subscribe, hit that sub button, and do all the YouTube SEO stuff for me. Like and share, comment down below. What do you think about tomorrow? Are you as excited as I am for that reveal? I can't wait. I cannot wait. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. And hopefully we all get the cards that we want to get. And hopefully there's no... There's going to be a shortage, but let's just... Let's pray there's no no shortage. And last thing on that note, uh, the AIBs are going to have cards at launch from what I understand. So there might be a pretty good stock of them. You, like it might it might not just be founders only. That like Ace is gonna have them, uh, MSI is gonna have them, EVGA is gonna have them, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, Maybe you can get the model that you want or the, the brand that you want too, right? Hopefully. Let's all hope for the best. Anyway, guys, talk to you later. See you in the next one. See you later.